previous tip, I introduced you to Keyboard Maestro and showed you how you can use it to type some text. It can do a lot more though, and in this tip, I want to show you how it can work programs and work between programs as well. I'm using some demo macros here. I want to show you this one. This particular demo macro moves and resizes the front window of any application, even though I've called it browser window. And it moves it so that the window is placed at the top left of the screen, one pixel across and 22 pixels down. 22 down clears it from the menu bar. And then it makes the window 800 pixels wide and 600 pixels tall. I wanted to show you that because really I'm going to show you this macro called Go to Mac Tips. When I click on a trigger in the floating macro palette, that's this little thingy up here, this macro will activate Firefox, pause for three seconds, that gives Firefox time to start up, come to the front, then it's going to execute a macro and it'll resize, it'll move and resize the browser window. Then it'll type Command T to create a new tab, Command L to put the cursor in the location bar, then it's going to put the URL for MacTips.info into the location bar and finally press return. And so all of this should take us to MacTips.info with the browser comfortably tucked up against the top left hand corner, 800 pixels wide by 600 pixels tall. Let's see what happens. And there you can see it opened up Firefox, made the browser window the right size and shape, tucked it up in the top left hand corner, typed in MacTips.info and pressed return to make the browser actually go to the website. Sometimes when you try to go to a website it doesn't work and you might like to copy that address and put it into the trace route program that's available in Network Utility to see exactly where that website is and how you're getting to it from your location. I'll come back to Keyboard Maestro. I have another macro here. This one, again, I will trigger from the macro palette. It'll activate Firefox and wait for a moment. Go to the location bar and copy everything in the location bar. So what it'll copy is that address there. Then it'll activate Network Utility, wait for a moment, move the window, pause a moment, and then it's going to click at a specific point on that front window. That was why I moved it here. I'm going to have to click the mouse at 366 pixels across and 48 pixels down, and you'll see in a minute why that is. It's the only way I can actually get to the Traceroute tab. Then it'll paste in the address that it's just copied. But that address there doesn't work in Traceroute. It needs to not have the trailing slash, and it can't have the HTTP colon slash slash part, so that has to be removed as well. So back to Keyboard Maestro, we're going to paste in the address, delete the trailing slash, and then type Option Left Arrow. That moves the cursor back in front of the M of MacTips.info. Then it's going to type delete seven times altogether, and finally it'll press the button called trace. Let's see what happens. I'm going to come up here and trigger the trace route demo. And there it is. Now one of the things you have to watch out for, of course, is not clicking somewhere else while the macro is executing. If I'd clicked on this window, for example, before Traceroute had activated, then the whole copy and paste business would have failed. You can read the exact steps for this tip back at MacTips.info. And there'll be a couple more Keyboard Maestro tips coming. Remember, 20% discount until the end of August 2010. Read the tip on my website for details of exactly how to get that 
that discount. And leave a comment at the website to let me know how you get on.